you have a honey-do list? I have a honey-do list. This is how I shorten one of my most arduous tasks, which is cleaning up the tiles and the waterfall there. They always end up getting like a little bit of mildew, a little bit of salt buildup, that kind of stuff. And the beautiful Miss Nicole always wants me to come out here with a pumice stone and scrub it and scrub it. I want to use power and these drill brushes to clean it up. Let me show you how that works. Let's start with the basics. I'm going to use the medium brush. I like this round one so you get a little speed on it and you kind of control how, how much force you're using. I like the medium because it's really designed for bathrooms, tile, that kind of stuff, which is really what we're talking about. We're talking about tile and soft stones. All right, let's go do this. So here on the waterfall where you can see all like this black stuff, that's just mildew and salt that's built up. I like to wet this, make sure these are wet first, and then just gently massage it out. I know you're on a long shot so you can't exactly see, but that really does work. <laughs> oh, this is so much better than the pumice stone. But anyway, so you obviously have to use your head. Be smart about what you're using it on. Make sure it's the right material. Don't go crazy at 87,000 miles an hour until you've tried it a little bit. I know this is kind of the pace that works here. And I've done this before. That looks awesome. Super simple, works great every time. So yeah, once in a while I do get latrine duty and I actually will use this on the shower in the house. But this is really my main project, these tiles along the edge and obviously the rocks getting all that debris off of it. In the end, there are a zillion things you could use these for. I hope this has been helpful. We'll see you next time.